All right, I'm here with Coach Kindler after a solid performance from the Baker Women's Cross Country team, finishing 17th out of 32 teams. Coach, just talk about the season overall and just team performance today. Yeah, what a, what a great season for our ladies. I'm so proud of them and what they did today and just this whole season. Uh, for me, it's the highest ranked team that we've ever had in Baker history. So, you know, for them to do what they did today and then just the progression the whole season, man, it's just been such a, a great ride and it's been a lot of fun to watch and coach and work with them. And I'm just so proud of what they did today. Talk about your seniors too. This is their last race, of course. Just their performance and their production overall this season. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, Lauren, uh, Megan, Ashley, uh, this is their last race and, and uh, for cross country wise. And so we definitely, you know, it's, it's a bittersweet for them, four years. It's amazing how four years goes by so quickly, but I'm so proud of how they finished today and, and to go off with such a great year and, and to have this type of effort and to finish in top 17. Uh, I, I'm ecstatic. I'm really proud of what they did today. You know, they're going to obviously be missed next year. We had uh, you know, two freshmen and then a uh, or junior on our team. And so we're definitely going to need to refill those spots, but at the same time, uh, we always still look for them for track this year as well, too. Talk about the field overall with all the teams today, just so the comp level of competition. Yeah, it's always, it's always amazing to get to the national league because it's just the level of competition is outstanding. And the NAI, a lot of times, talk NCAA, but you know, it's, it's great to get out here and see how we compete and, and you know, to see some of the top level uh, teams that compete here. I mean, they're outstanding. They can hang with a lot of teams that are out there at any level. And so it's fun for us to get in there and it's just it's non-stop action for our cross-country races. Typically, some of the races we've seen where we'll gap some teams or we'll be out kind of by ourselves. Today, it's just non-stop in this tough uh, tough course and really understand that and realizing where we're at within the course. So, once again, I think our girls did an outstanding job understanding that, realizing that, and uh, really attacking where we need to attack. How does this course rank up with all the other courses you guys have run at? Just how competitive and just how hilly and everything? Yeah, for sure. I mean, compared to the national course last year, it's totally different. I mean, last year was just a loop, flat, wet, muddy course, but uh, compared to you know, the condition and, and uh, the cool there, the temperatures out here, and then just the overall toughness of the course, Oh, it is a challenging course, and we knew that coming in, and we prepared for that all year. And I think that's what's helped us, is our girls have seen this course and know the course. But we were coming in 25th ranked, and for us to finish 17th, that just shows us that our girls really moved up and attacked where we need to attack and really did an outstanding job. All right, thank you, Coach, and congratulations on a great season. You bet. Thanks. Great day to be a Wildcat. All right, I'm here with Lauren Jakeway, who finished 76th overall. Lauren, just talk about the performance today with the team and just how you felt on the course. How was the course compared to all the other courses you ran at this year and just was it any more competitive and just the level of competition as well? Talk about your season overall too. I mean, you add another hat conference championship to yourself, and just how does this final race mean to you overall? It's really hard to put into words. Um, after I put in everything to the this sport for the past ever. eight years now, and four years in college, and being able to be a three-time hat champion means the world to me, and that I've been able to go to nationals four years in a row and compete with you know the best of the best. Um, I'm just beyond blessed. Uh, God's All right, thank you. Thank you, Lauren, and congratulations on a great season. Thanks so much. All right, Ashley, just talk about the level of competition today, and this was a big race, obviously, for the team and everything. Just what did you think overall and just how the team did? Well, I mean, the competition was at the national level. but we proved ourselves and we got 17th as a team in the nation. That's really something to be proud of.
just as a course overall, just how does this compare to other courses you raced at in your career or just this year? Well, uh, this is definitely one of the hillier. The hills here are steep. They are steep and they are harsh and they are unforgiving. <laughs> and a lot of the other courses that we've been at are golf courses, so they're rolling hills. And we'll see hills, but they'll be like long and not so steep. So it was, it's different here. But luckily I've run this course in high school and we got to run it earlier this season, so we were ready for it. Um, talk about your season overall and just your career at Baker. I mean, this was your last race. Just what's your overall feeling and how? You, what are you going to miss? Well, starting out at Baker as a freshman, I ran like a freshman, nothing too special. And from then on, I've improved every season. And I'm just so lucky. This has been my best season, my final nationals. I've made it all four years, luckily. And I, I laid it all out there at Rimrock, and I'm, I'm so blessed. I'm so happy that I got to come here today with my team. All right, thank you, Ashley, and congratulations on the great season. Thank you. All right, Megan, you had a great race today, and just overall the team places 17th out of 32. Just talk about the team overall and just what you were expecting coming in. Um, the team did really, really well. We were ranked 19th going in, so we really felt we had some, something to prove to both the nation as well as ourselves, and we ended up finishing higher than we came in ranked, so that was really good. It would have been nice to break into the top 15, this course compared to any other course you've ran and just how were you able to prepare for it? Well this course as I'm sure you've heard has, has some help. It's a pretty brutal course. It's a very mentally challenging course and for me personally I can say I'm a good runner so Hill's kind of intimidating me a little bit but we, we practiced on a few pretty steep hills back in our own hometown to get ready for it and you just kind of have to learn to gut it out all right, and this was your final race too. Just what are you going to remember most about Baker and how did this race feel today? Um, I think I'll just remember all the great times I've had with the girls and the, and the team. It's been an interesting college career. The past two years I've been hurt, so I haven't really had anywhere near my potential. So it was really, really great to have this one last opportunity to just really race and leave it all out there. And this race was just, it was fun. It, it was really fun because there were so many fans and so many people and it was just excitement from start to finish. All right, thank you Megan and congratulations on the great season. Thank you.